My country is not an Apple product, so please stop pronouncing it Iran. Iran is what we call it. Iran. You can go Iran. Fair enough. But Iran, please don't. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. How's everything? I hope things are okay in your part of the world. And you can all have your guesses on how I must have been feeling during all these days. So we don't talk about that. I've already posted part one and two of the Persian alphabet. So here's the third and last part of the Persian alphabet. It's called fe, fe and pronounced f like f. Examples. Farda, farda, which means tomorrow. Naft, naft, which means oil. Kif, kif, which means bag or purse. And nof, nof, which means navel. It's called qaf, qaf, and pronounced q, q down here. And the closest or most familiar sound to this, to some of you guys, might be the French R, which is pronounced R, R up here. But this one is deeper, R, R versus R. You can practice choking a bit, that would help you. Examples would include Qesse, Qesse, which means story, Maqsad, Maqsad, which means destination, qashuk, qashuk, which means spoon, and fanduk, fanduk, which means hazelnut. This one is called cough, cough, not like coughing, <laughs> but cough, and is pronounced k or k, depending on where in the word it appears. Examples, cam, cam, which means little or few, max, max, which means a short stop, namak, namak, which means salt, and ordak, ordak, which means duck. It's called gof, gof, and is pronounced ki or g, depending on where it where in the word it appears, pretty much like G. Examples would include gush, gush, which means ear, magas, magas, which means fly, rang, rang, which means color, hue, or dye, and barg, barg, which means leaf. This one is called lam, Lam and is pronounced l, pretty much like l, but um, there's a major difference between this one and the English l. In English, you guys pronounce the l more at the back of your mouth or oral cavity, so to speak. But this one is uh, much more at the front of your mouth. I mean, your tongue would be much closer to your teeth. For example, you can you go hello l. It's at the back, but we go salam, salam, which means hello, and uh, it's salam, so l at the front of your mouth. It's uh, much closer to the German L. They go gelb, which means yellow, and I hope I have pronounced it, I have pronounced it acceptable enough. Examples, lab, lab, which means lip, Bale, bale, which means yes. Tambal, tambal, which means lazy. And pool, pool, not pool. Pool, which means money. It's called meme, meme, and pronounced m like m. Examples would include man, man, which means me or I. 
من اگه هنوز میخونم واسه خاطر دل توست شعر من صدای غم نیست هم صدای حسرت توست which is quite a famous song نمک again which means salt معلم معلم which means teacher and شام شام which means dinner or supper It's called noon, noon, not noon, noon, and is pronounced n like n. Examples: namak, namak again, which is salt. Junub, junub, or in some accents, junub, which means south. Man, man, as I said, which is I or me, and khun, khun, which means blood, and can be seen a lot on the streets these days. This one is called Vav, Vav, and is pronounced V like V. In some Persian accents and dialects, it's, it's pronounced like a W, which we don't have in uh, standard Persian. But for example, Kurdish people who have their own language, and I cannot understand, Unfortunately, when they speak Persian, uh, they have this accent and they go w instead of v. Examples: Vaqan, Vaqan, which means really, and is originally Arabic. Vaksan, Vaksan, which is vaccine. Tavarum, Tavarum, which means inflation. It's an Arabic word and it's shooting through the roof these days over here. And gov. Gov, which means cow, or a sort of a derogatory word for stupid people. Which is, I think, uh, an insult to cows. It's called he, he, and pronounced he like an exhalation. Examples would include hava, hava, which could mean air or weather, mahi, which means fish, mah, mah, which means moon and month. By the way, the moon is a symbol of flawless beauty in Persian. For example, if I say tomahemani, which means you're my moon, which means you're my beautiful one. Uh, actually, upon hearing this sentence, there was this Belgian guy cow surfing here a few years ago who said um, it's time for psychiatry and I wish I had suffocated him. Just kidding. But I'm sure, Tom, if that's your name, uh, I'm sure if I go through your language, I would find examples of words or phrases or idioms that sound weird or strange to me. It's uh, what linguistics is about because every language has its unique ways of expression. So that was quite an insult. And finally, Bahar. Bahar, which means spring. I mean spring, the season. This one is called ye, ye, and is pronounced y like y. Examples: yek, yek, which means one. Maymun, maymun, which means monkey or an ugly person. Nay, nay, which means straw. And rui, rui, which means zinc. And finally, Hamze. Hamze, which is kind of a glottal stop. Examples, Ta'sir, Ta'sir, which means influence. Mas'ale, Mas'ale, which means um, question or problem or issue. Mu'asir, Mu'asir, which means effective. And Mas'ul, Mas'ul, which means someone who's responsible for something or simply responsible.
So finally, finalement, we're done with the Persian alphabet. Hope it's been useful to you guys. And in that case, uh, give me a thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, please tell me what topics you'd like me to cover in future videos, whether it's about Iran, Persian language, or me as an Iranian. Thank you for the view and see you next time. Mavazeb khodetun bashin, which is the plural form of take care, and more literally, it means take care of yourselves. So, khodafez, bye.